nice effect. You know, almost like a whammy, but it's a slot. Uh, so that's my, my new trick I'm working on. And uh, what else can I tell you about Ibanez? They're just, they're just good people. I've been working with them such a long time, and I love them. But really easy. And then we'll go back up. We'll go. So, you know, and the nice thing about that, those notes are the same as an E minor seventh chord. You kind of have to have your chill together, you know. But anyway, now we're going to move it down an octave. So you got to go three, really good. And it's the same lick, you know, the, the same fingers. And you do it two more. Like. So it, you're, now you have three octaves. That's it sounds something like something's going on. And that's you know, I did a little slide, but it's all fun. Now, if, if you do that, and, and we're going to change one note, so right now it's, so we're going to change the D, we're going to take that D and go, do a C sharp and says, well, that sounds really nice if you're a four chord. singer on the guitar and just you know when, when you go home think about like what what is the best melody in the world to you like what, you know, in the world of melody it can be it doesn't have to be vocals it could be a, a trumpet melody or a guitar melody but like what is the best melody 
And you know, it might be something like, uh, Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Sing a sad song. And like, you know, is that there? Can you find it? You know, it'll be like, maybe not. Let me try it again. So I've seen like every possible technique there is on guitar now, and um, to me there's, there's like almost like two different ways of, of holding the guitar that are really different. One is like the classical, you know, it's kind of. 